Hey, what's going on everyone? Eli here. A uh, little bit of a different style of video for you today. Uh, this is a screen recording of my race from the Gridlife Track Battle series. Now, if you don't know Gridlife, they host a bunch of uh, racing events around the U.S., but unfortunately with what's been going on recently, uh, obviously the, the public racing events aren't available. So they've been hosting this online series called Track Battle. They had four different classes that you could run in. I happen to be running in the Track Mod class. Um, now the track mod class, uh, it's up to a 750 performance index. Uh, you can run sport tires, not race tires. Um, and the tire can't be wider than 315. Besides that, there's not many restrictions. The goal of the race is uh, you qualify based on your fastest lap time, the top 20 fastest lap times in each of the classes get to race in the event. So I qualified right mid-pack, right around, I believe, number 13. Um, and then they put you on, this happens to be Road America, week three. Uh, they put you on Road America in a 10 lap race and they say whoever has the fastest clean lap uh, gets the win. Little bit of backstory on my car choice. Uh, I ended up in a Porsche Cayman. I was running a Ford GT350R. If you didn't know, I'm actually working at FC Piero now and FC Piero was a sponsor of the, uh, the regular Grid Life events. So I had to jump in, support my company, support Grid Life. Um, and so obviously uh, GT350R is not a European car. There were a bunch of turns that I struggled with. This is actually the uh, last turn on the track. Uh, I just could not seem to put the power down or get that right. In 10 laps, I probably approached it 10 different ways. Uh, here we have the left right. I'm not exactly sure what you would call this section, but I went off here in my first and second laps. And obviously if you go off, you see the line will turn red. That means you've been off, the lap is dirty, and uh, it's totally irrelevant. This is the turn coming out of, I believe, what they call the carousel, uh, heading into the kink. Um, and I just I couldn't seem to put the power down there, and then the kink is really hard to judge. This one here, I'm coming out of the carousel again, hooked a little bit of the grass, checked up, but didn't check up enough. Away I go. Um, it's only 10 laps, so uh, I did have a couple clean laps, but like here, I, I totally messed up the kink. It, that was actually really close. If you run that back, I barely, barely went off the track there. Uh, and then here, this is actually the same lap. So this is lap six going to lap seven. You see, I just barely made it off the track there. Unfortunately, because this is the last the turn going into the next lap, uh, if you go off in the last turn, Forza thinks that you're setting up for a faster lap the next lap, so it'll actually dirty your next lap. So uh, at this point, we're coming into lap nine. I think my fastest was a 2.15.2 so far. I qualified with a 2.14.0. So there's definitely more in the car and definitely more in my yeah, ability. Clean. See what happens. I think I probably could have done better there through that first turn, but um, we uh, I was really feeling the pressure, honestly. It was my second to last lap. I knew if I didn't get this right, um, I had one lap left to put down an actually fast time. You can see I'm sitting in, I'm actually sitting in 11th place right now, um, but uh, rolling through. And uh, you'll hear in a second, uh, Dan does give me a, a very big pep talk, which, which really gets me going. But I'll let you guys listen for a hot sec as we go through this section. Next fastest guy is at 2.13.9. Some sort of miracle to run so you hear me there saying uh, the next fastest guy is a 2.13.9 um, and my fastest ever is a 2.14.0. The fastest in the race is a Lotus Elise, a 99 Lotus Elise running 2.09. Dan is running a, a different Formula E session right now. I don't know where that guy was going. I show me how to find two I said show me how to find two seconds Dan and he gives me these tips. Oh, I am master at two seconds. So, <laughs> oh. basically, what you want to do is uh, uh, keep your speed in this the corners. This will have smiles. Uh, your speed in corners as much as you can without losing traction. Really? I've been drifting and, uh, everything. Then when you uh, are coming out, you want to be on throttle as soon as possible. Once again, you don't want to break in traction. And that's how you. Uh, that's, that's how you do it, boy. E six. 
So with that pep talk, we're coming across the line here into my final lap. Um, I believe the lap time, the final lap time, my best lap time was like 2.14.6. Yeah, that was a 2.14.8. Euro. CP Euro was on there, they had some race car drivers and stuff. Pretty cool company. Warrants you all their parts, lifetime dot CP Euro dot com dot net <laughs> dot org. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, just hearing me talk Thanks, through man. my first grid life on track experience. Apologies for the video quality. For some reason, my you Twitch stream streamed in 1080, but when I downloaded it, it uh, it, it became potato quality. Close it out with a 214.822. Even if I had run my 214.0, I wouldn't have changed positions. I still would have been in that 11 spot. So uh, overall, pretty happy considering I, I definitely didn't have the car that had the advantage, but uh, played with the tune. That tune was fully put together by me. Um, obviously, you know, a couple bobbles here and there, but I think I ran a pretty consistent race overall. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know if you want to see more stuff like this. We'll be back with some regular stuff next week. As always, thank you guys for watching. Go out there and spread some positivity, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.